the Maximum Power Transfer Theorem. The objective of this lecture is to explain this theorem. For any power source, this could be a real voltage source, a real current source, or any more complicated circuit that involves one or more of these sources. The maximum power transferred from the power source to the load is when the resistance of the load, RL, is equal to the equivalent or input resistance of the power source, where the input resistor is equal to the Thevenin equivalent resistance or the Norton equivalent resistance of the power source. The process used to make RL equal to RN is called impedance matching. In this slide, I have calculated the power through with the load resistor when we have a 1 volt source and a Thevenin equivalent resistor of 50 ohms, where I where I varied the load resistance between 1 and 100 ohms. As you can see from the plot, the maximum power dissipated by the load occurs at 50 ohms, which is the point where the load resistance is equal to the Thevenin resistance of the power source, where the power source is the series combination of the Thevenin voltage source and the, the Thevenin resistor. Two applications of this theorem are as follows. First, if you happen to be a circuit designer for a known application, where the value of R load is known, you want to optimize the power transfer to that load by designing a circuit that has as close as possible an input resistance to that of the load. The second application is in choosing the appropriate power source to power a circuit. One of the selection criteria should be to match the input impedance of the power supply that you choose to the equivalent impedance of your load. In some of our ECE labs, we use a function generator that's built by Velomon. A function generator is just a voltage source that happens to have the ability to put out different time-varying signals. The input impedance for the Velomon function generator happens to be 40 ohms. In a number of experiments, we ask students to measure the output voltage from the function generator, which is the voltage across the load that they apply to the function generator. Occasionally, they find that the voltage out of the function generator is nowhere close to the voltage that they ask the function generator to supply. This will occur when the load resistor approaches or is smaller than the Thevenin equivalent resistor of the Velomon function generator. There are many examples where you're provided with the input resistance or load resistance of a circuit or a component. For example, antenna wire is designed to act like a 75 ohm load, while coaxial cable is designed to act like a 50 ohm load. If you happen to use coaxial cable to attach your antenna to your TV, assuming you weren't on cable TV, you would find that the signal that was picked up by the TV would be very noisy because you would not be transferring the most amount of power captured by your antenna to your TV. Most electronic and electrical equipment are designed to have a Thevenin equivalent resistor of 50 ohms as their input resistance. The speakers used in some of the ECE labs are designed to act as 8 ohm load, while the microphones used in the same labs are designed to act as 600 ohm loads. It's important that the resistance of a wire that runs to a speaker is very low or the power will be dissipated in the wire instead of used to create sound. For best audio quality, the input impedance of a circuit connected to the speaker or to the microphone should be equal to the resistance of the speaker or the microphone. In summary, the maximum power transfer theorem is used frequently to ensure that the most amount of power possible is transferred from the power source to the load.